Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So as some of you guys might know, I absolutely love rocket stoves. And of course you can do all sorts of things with them as you can see on Rob's channel and some of the stuff that I've done on my channel too. But something that I've been actively thinking about is water heating. And of course you can use one of these rocket stoves to heat water, but not in the traditional sense of putting a pan of water on top of it. I'm actually talking about putting a copper coil around it, having a bin pretty much full of water with an inlet and an outlet valve, and then it would actually continue to heat that water. And of course, you can use that heated water for whatever you wanted, showering, bathing, washing your clothes, maybe even making a cup of coffee. So that's something that I've been thinking about, and today we're actually going to give it a go. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you the setup that I've got. So right here is the contraption, and I'll explain that to you a little bit in a second, but this was the rocket stove that Rob made in video number 1743, which I'll link in the description. Of course, this is awesome because it requires no tools, no welding, and you're going to have yourself a rocket stove. It's basically screw fit parts with a little bit of this high temperature stuff over the top of it, and that gives you a really nice working rocket stove. But as you can notice, I've got this copper coil around the chimney right here, and I've compressed it really down to show you actually how much room is left on this chimney. And of course, I've got my outlet and my inlet, and right here, is the actual water store. So what happens is we connect this one to the top, this one to the bottom. As the water starts to heat up, it's going to rise through, and then the cold water is gonna come back down here. So let's actually fill this up with water. Let's connect it up, go outside, and actually light this thing on fire. So that is my setup completed, and I know you can't see the backside of this, so I'll flash up an image on the screen now. And as you can see, it's just like I said at the beginning, I'm just attached. This one to the bottom and this one to the top. And now if we set that fire, it should actually start to pump that water through and start to boil it. And of course, there's one thing that I need to mention and that I wouldn't have mentioned it if Rob wouldn't have said it, but the water level actually needs to be above this. Otherwise, it, it, sorry, it's because water likes to find its own level. So that means if it's up a little bit higher than where this coil is, it's going to flow really nicely. So let's actually get this lit and see if it can boil this massive amount of water. <laughs> Right, so now that fire's going, I've just got to make sure that this fire stays alive and I keep it well fed. But I'll come back to you once this water starts actually getting warm. So as you can see, as this is started to heat right up, you can see that the water is now getting pushed out of this top inlet, which is exactly what we wanted. And if I put my finger near that, I can feel the water actually coming out of it and it is a little bit warm to be fair. So just got to keep this fire alive and it's eventually going to start heating this up nicely. You can literally see it pumping itself through. And I really, really do hope that you can see that. But as I start to put my finger, I can feel the heat actually coming off that water coming through, that's hot. So I really don't think it's gonna take long to boil this stuff. But that is absolutely amazing. That flame is still nicely lit. So look at that, you can actually see the water being pumped through and the steam coming off, which shows you that the water is actually warming up quite quickly. <laughs> That's amazing. So that is just awesome. And as you can see, it works just like a regular type of boiler. And of course, we left this open to the air so you can see actually it heating up. But you would use something like this, which is mineral wool, and you would use it to insulate the actual copper coil. So it would be way more efficient and it would heat up a lot quicker. So that is just fantastic. And of course, now this is starting to heat up, you can use this for all kinds of different things, using your washing machine, having a shower, pumping into your radiators for your central heating. It's pretty much unlimited to what you can do with this, but that is, whew, that is actually really warm. <laughs> but I guess with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Ooh. Anyway guys, I hope you have the most fantastic day and I will see you later.